Hey everybody, Freddy here with another video. This time we're gonna be looking at Azure Storage Mover, which is another way that you can move data from on-prem to the cloud. This time it's gonna be if you wanna move data from a NAS device or a, or a SAN that is on-prem, and you wanna move that into Azure files or Azure storage, uh, such as Blob. So this is another way of moving data. This is a great way to move data from a NAS device or a SAN device into Azure. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, leave a comment in the section down below. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and let's get to it. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, the first thing we're gonna talk about is, we're gonna talk about what Azure Storage Mover is, getting to know it, the service vision, and then we're gonna jump into the demo. So the storage mover is a hybrid service. So the idea is that you have a box, a migration agent, which is a VM that you can download from the download center. And then you establish a trust between the storage move uh, agent and the cloud environment so that the Azure storage mover agent is able to take files from the NAS and it's gonna be able to establish that trust and send the files to the Azure environment, to a storage account. The storage account, this Azure mover can do both NFS and SMB. If you go SMB, then you're gonna to go to Azure files. If you go to NFS, it's gonna do, um, it's gonna move files to blob as well. So it depends on how you wanna do it. So this is why it's called a hybrid service because it is an on-prem system. There's a VM that you have to, don't, you have to load on your Hyper-V or your VMware environment, and that acts as the agent that is gonna move the data up to the cloud. So again, this is a perfect service if you're gonna move data from a NAS environment to the Azure storage. So this is the way that you would do it. So again, there is two things that happen here. The, the data itself, when you move files from, at, from the on-prem environment to Azure, the data does not flow through the mover agent itself. It moves directly to the cloud. So the data path is it's not moving through the Azure uh, VM itself. Again, it, it can be SMB or NFS. And it move, it's moving the data through a REST API, which means that it's doing it through port 443, all the data is encrypted, and all the data is being verified. Once it gets to Azure, there is a process that goes through it to make sure that the data has not been tampered with and the data integrity is kept as far as the data moving up to Azure. So this is one of the things that is very nice because it is going to do what is um, what I would consider the, the equivalent of an MD5 hash of the data once it gets moved up to Azure, which is great. Uh, regional independence, which means that one agent can pretty much, um, you know, one storage mover can manage multiple agents in different locations. So you can have an agent in, in, Amer in the Americas, one in, in Africa in this case, and another one in Asia. So one storage mover can manage multiple agents globally. The other thing is that you can uh, centralize that. The mover itself and the agents don't need to be in the same region because again, one of the things that you do have to keep in mind is that the agent itself should be in the same region as the storage account so that the data flows through the, um, you know, from the on-prem location to the storage account within the same region. So that will make it faster. So if you, if you have data in multiple regions, it is recommended that you put an agent in, in each region so that the data can flow faster. So it doesn't have to flow through different, you know, multiple, multiple locations there. So anyway, that's one of the things that is a, a, a benefit. There's one key vault that keeps track of all the secrets. When we talk about secrets, that's the username and password that you need to log into your NAS or SAN device here. So this is what the key vault is gonna do, is gonna keep the, the secrets, the username and password, so you don't have to type them anywhere. You put them up on the key vault, and then the, the agent pulls that data from the key vault 
and uses it to log in to the NAS, to the local NAS. Okay, so some of the capabilities, again, there's a plan, there's a migrate, and there's a monitor. So a plan is when you create a plan, as you're gonna see in the demo, is this is what you tell it where the data is, where it's coming from, and where it's going. So it's gonna, you specify the source, you specify the, the, the target, and you specify the secrets that it's going to use. You specify all the parameters, the share name, the IP address of the NAS, and then you tell it how it's gonna log into that NAS. And then there is the migrate portion of it, which is when you press that button that says, start the process, so start the job. And then you can monitor. You can monitor the, 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 what, how it's the, the, the process going. Um, you can tell it also um, you know, how fast it's going, or excuse me, you can monitor how fast it's going, things like that. So there's three different things that you can, that you can do here. So again, the, so again, when you have a, an on-prem NAS server, you can either have SMB or you can have NFS. In Azure, you have either SMB, like Azure Files, or you have Blob. If you're gonna go from SMB, you're gonna go to Azure Files. If you're gonna go from NFS, then you can go to Azure Blob. So those are the two options that you have with the Azure Storage Mover, depending on how you wanna do it. So uh, it's a full guided migration service. So it's pretty much, it, it guides you through the whole migration process. So it starts from, so it goes all the way from the start to the finish in minutes, as you will see in the demo. Again, the first thing typically that you have to do is you have to create your um, Azure Storage Mover inside of a storage account. Then you have to uh, set up your Key Vault with all your secrets. Then you have to set up an Azure File Share and then you deploy the agent to an on-prem Hyper-V or VMware system. And then at that point, that's the one that is going to connect to either a Windows SMB share, a NAS, a Linux. In my demo, I use a Linux. Um, it's a Raspberry Pi that is set up as a NAS. And then that um, once you create that agent, then you have to establish a trust to the Azure Mover. And I will show you in the demo on how to do that. So. That's pretty much it. Then once you do that, then going back to this, then you go to the migration, where is you specify all the parameters. And number four is you run the, the job. And then at that point, you can monitor the migration to see how it's going. So let's go ahead and jump into the demo at this point. Once your storage account is created, go, go to the resource itself. And then you have this option called storage mover on this side. Click on that and then create a new storage mover. As always, you're gonna be asked for a resource group, and then you're gonna ask for a, a name. I'm gonna call it FMD. Um, one of the things to keep in mind here is the this option here. A storage mover can be deployed in any region without affecting the migration speed. So the idea is that the account, the storage account itself, should be close to where the location of the files are. The mover itself doesn't need to be in the same region, but it can be. Uh, so I'm going to keep it in the same region at this point. So I'm going to click next. The next thing is monitoring the files and monitoring the success of the migration, uh, the, the, the logs and things like that. One of the things that you, that you should do is uh, store the, the log analytics information in the log analytics workspace so you can um, see what the status is, what is the progress of your transfer. So I'm going to select one that I already have, which is the log workspace West US 3. And then tags um, in, in a production environment is highly recommended that you use tags. In this case, I'm not gonna use tags because this is a, a lab environment. So click next. And once this is uh, confirmed or validated, then you can just create it. Once it is created, click on go to resource. And in this, uh, this case here, we're going to register an agent. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this register agent. Once you click on register agents, you can click on download the VM. So you have the options of downloading um, different, different versions. I have Hyper-V, so I'm going to download the Hyper-V. That'll take some time, so I'm gonna stop the video and I will come back when it's downloaded. One of the things that we need to look at is the requirements right here. It says if you have 1 million items, you should have eight gigabytes of RAM 
and four cores if you have 10 million items. So it depends on how many items you will have, meaning how many files you will be migrating. Um, I'm going to have uh, less than 10 million, so I'm just going to set it up for 8 gigs of RAM. Okay, now that it has been downloaded, then we're going to go to our Hyper-V um, manager and we are going to cre create a new virtual machine. So now we have different options. The first option that we're gonna do is we are going to do number two, which is the network configuration. This just tells us that there is a connection up to Azure and that is able to get to all the places that it needs to get to. So there is no firewall issues. We'll go to Number four, which is quit. Now that we have checked the network configuration, the next option is gonna be register. So we need to register this, um, this agent with, with a storage account. In this case, it says, please provide a value that a specific tenant should be used to log into Azure. Press enter for automatic detection. Tenant ID, you can press enter. Under the subscription ID, let's copy this subscription ID. And let's paste it here. I'm going to use the same resource group name. Storage mover name, storage. FMD storage mover. Agent name. In this case, you can call whatever you want, but uh, usually location works well if you're gonna have multiple. LAX, just for Los Angeles. Uh, the airport code. Uh, there's not going to be any private link, so enter. Once you log in, it makes the connection to Azure. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to the portal. Let's go see what happened here. So register the agent, create the job. So the next thing is, um, let's go ahead and look at the registered agents. Story, storage agent LAX. Okay, next thing is create a project. Create a new project. File transfer FMD. So in my key vault, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create two secrets. I'm gonna create one for the username and one for the password. I should have called this Feft1 password, but I didn't. So. Let's just know that this is the password. So now I can go to my storage mover. I already created a storage mover, which is here. So I'm gonna go to the storage mover. I'm gonna go to the project, project explorer, create new project, give it a name, create. So now we have this project. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on create a, a job definition. Under the job definition, I'm gonna call it move files and the agent is gonna be the agent that we have next gonna create an endpoint here I need to type the IP address of my NAS and the share name the protocol that I'm going to be using since I'm going to be using SMB I select SMB and then I need to use the key vault so in this case the username is going to be here the username is f bond username and this is why it's important to call it the right way and then the password 
is going to be this one, which I didn't call password, but it's F2Bond password. So that's the one that you need to select. There's not going to be any sub path. And here's the, the path that it's going to use to, to connect. Uh, this is the target. The target is going to be the storage account and it's going to be a file share and the file share is uh, storage move share. And there is no sub path. So next uh, merge contents into target. So it's just going to merge the contents. The, the other option is mirror. Mirror is it keeps the two synchronized. Uh, so it keeps the files from the source to the destination. I'm going to say merge and then click next. And then that's going to do the, um, it's going to create that job definition. Okay. It says that it's, uh, it's here and it has never ran. So I'm going to go ahead and say start job. Okay. So we'll give it a second. What is happening at the box itself? Here is. Um, it was giving me this before this mount error because I was uh, mounting it the wrong way. So we'll see now what it does. Um, right now it's just it's at the login prompt. We're not able to see what is happening, but what is happening is creating a mount point um, using the SIFs and it's going to mount that to the box. So we'll see if that works. Well, that does whatever it needs to do. Let's go ahead and go to our storage account and let's look at the file share. What is happening when at the file share level? Then click on browse. Azure storage mover marker. So there's a Azure storage mover marker there. Let's go back here. Let's see if there's any issues. Waiting for the agent to pick up the job still okay okay success so now we have it says that that it worked and that it discovered a thousand files which is exactly what we have so now if we look at the uh, at the storage um, account we have all the files in there so thank you so much for staying until the end of the video. As you can see, Azure Storage Mover is just another service that allows you to move data into the cloud in a way that allows you to take data from an on-prem device such as NAS or a SAN and move it into Azure. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if there's any questions, any comments that you might have, please leave them in the comment section down below. I'll be happy to respond to your, to your comments. And thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.